Hi there, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my whole entire collection. There's over 150 bottles. It's not over 200 though. I thought maybe it was, but it isn't. So I can't wait to share them with you. Uh, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And if you already are part of the Weird and Wonderful family, thank you so much. You guys know how amazing you are. I just am so thankful for you. And with Without further ado, let's get into this. Now I'm gonna share with you every fragrance that I have. That means uh, ones that I don't necessarily love, ones that I kind of put away for a while to see if I'd like them, uh, just the whole gamut. So there's ones here that I don't like, ones that I do, I'll share that with you, but I'm gonna do it fairly quickly, otherwise this video will be an hour long. So I'm gonna try, be concise. <coughs> Let's get started. First fragrance, it's one of my loves, honestly. It's Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. This one smells like kind of a, a deep, decadent rose, slightly dusty, uh, and wine. Love it. Some of these are really dusty. <coughs> uh, this one is B. Layered's Dolled Up. This is a dupe for YSL's Supreme Bouquet major bubblegum tuberose and pear. It's gorgeous and the longevity on this thing is like 12 hours. Beautiful fragrance. Next is Bobbi Brown Beach. This is a pretty simple kind of by the pool sunscreen fragrance, kind of straight up like that. You can throw it on with any of the fragrances that you're wanting to kind of beach up. Longevity, not very great, but it's still one that I really enjoy having in my collection for summer. Next one is Versace Versense. This is kind of more of a bergamot, limey, freshy with some vanilla and some woods in it. I really enjoy this fragrance, but it's not overly long lasting. Next fragrance is Armoff's La Femme Eau de Parfum. I just plain don't like this. It's sharp, it's synthetic, it smells like kind of caramel apple, but in the worst possible way. This one is, you know, someone can just take it off my hands. <laughs> Next one I like having in my collection for a reference point, but I do not like it. And that is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. I know this is a diehard favorite of many. It smells really good on the cap, but I find it headache in inducing. It's like uh, a little bit kind of burnt sugar feel. Not a fan. Another one that I really dislike <laughs> is Rihanna's Rebel Nure, Nude. Um, it's kind of a peachy, fruity fragrance. It smells really good right now. Ooh, maybe I need to try it again. Uh, maybe it's sat long enough that it's good. Um, but yeah, kind of a musky, peachy fragrance. Not really a fan, and I literally despise the color on the, the like this is just gross, like so ugly, so, so ugly. I have a Frederico Mahora Pure Royal in 906. This is a dupe of Tobacco Vini, actually really close dupe, like really decent. Another Frederico Mahora I have 900, and this is uh, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Again, a really close dupe, long, long lasting too. And then I have Perfume Parlors Two Flavors 1317, and this is a dupe for uh, Spiritus du Bleveni by Guerlain. Yeah, uh, really, really nice, quite incensey. I think I would. I think I like the original better than this, but this is actually a pretty decent dupe. Lo lasts a long time on the skin as well. I have Sweet Hope by La Reve. These are so dusty. These are ones I rarely reach for. Um, this this is like Hypnotic Poison. Pretty close, like pretty decent dupe. I'm just not a fan of Hypnotic Poison. The other one I have is La Reve's Taste of Kiss. This is really close to La Nuit Trésor, uh, and it, it actually is. Like it's very, very close. I almost think I like this one better, especially for the price. It's like 12 bucks, very, very close to the original. So one that I absolutely love is Angel Muse EDT. This is like Angel Muse, but it's got some passion fruit in the opening, gives it a little bit more fruitiness. The chocolate actually comes out a little bit stronger in this one in the dry down than in the original. So really, really enjoy this one. Another major hit of mine is Issy Mayaki's Low Dissy Rose and Rose. This is actually a beautiful rose raspberry fragrance with some nice musk in there. 
Uh, so you get that original DNA of low Dissy, uh, but with the rose and the raspberry, it's absolutely beautiful. Next fragrance is Sophia's So Very. This one, I'm not a fan of. It smells really perfumey. I love Sophia by Sophia Vergara. I love the love one, but the So Very is not so very. <laughs> Next is an Okja. Um, this is Secret Duchess. It's the dupe for Killian Princess. I don't actually think it's close enough, so I'm not a fan of that one. Um, I also have Starlight Shimmer by Michael Kors. This one is really nice. It's got kind of that Michael Kors vanilla in there. There's rose and I think saffron. So it smells kind of like Shakehoff Oud, but a lighter, sweeter version. Next fragrance I have is Jovan Musk. I have literally never worn this on my skin, but I kind of like having it because it reminds me of when I was, it, it reminds me of the 80s somehow. Like when I was a kid, I remember smelling this in store. Uh, I think I probably even wore it, but it's not one that I would reach for now for sure. But it's still kind of fun to have those ones. Next is La Rive in Flames. This is a dupe for Olympia by Paco Rabanne. I definitely prefer the original than this, but this one's pretty decent. Next is Lulu by Cacherelle. I won't even smell it because it smells like burnt rubber and liquid latex. So I am not a fan, but I know some of you love this. So that's all I'll say. Next one, again, not a fan. I'm getting my not a fans out of the way and then I'll share it with you, my loves, is Agent Provocateur Fatal Intense. Um, this one uh, smells a little bit like Angel. It's a little bit chocolatey. It's a little bit patchouli feeling, even though there's no patchouli in this one. A lot of people love it. I think there's Szechuan pepper in this one. A lot of people find it uber sexy. It's just not for me. Next is Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Femme. This is supposed to be a raspberry marshmallow fragrance. Um, I tried it again recently. It's got not much personality. I get kind of like a powdery something something no raspberry some people really get the raspberry this is lackluster big time for me next is zara's oriental summer um this one's a miss to me too it's got brown sugar in it it just smells kind of like musky coconut water not a fan next is fragrance dubois siberian rose this is beautiful uh it's sweet it smells fruity kind of a little bit sparkling um, definitely uh, smells summery, uh, but very kind of fruity. There's some white rose, I think, in this one. It smells similar to Yerba Pura by Zerjoff, so it's kind of in that same family. Next is Lalique Le Parfum. Now, first of all, this bottle is absolutely gorgeous. The fragrance, uh, it's a nice vanilla. It's a little bit unique. It's a great buy. It's super affordable. It's unique. It's fairly long lasting but it has a bay leaf note in it that kind of sits weird on my skin. So this is a fail for me. Another fail is Girl of Now, Girl of Now Forever. Again, I know some of you love this one. I thought I loved it. And when I smell it like this, oh my goodness, it smells so good. There's raspberry, there's lemon zest in this. Uh, it's a, a major departure from the original Girl, Girl of Now. Very fruity, kind of a little bit tart. Uh, but it just goes too sharp on my skin. Some of you love it. This goes sharp and play doughy on me. Not a fan. Next fragrance is Wonder Rose by Zara. This one's actually quite pretty, uh, but I just don't reach for it. The longevity on it isn't great. So yeah, don't reach for it. Next is Be Layered's First Kiss. This is one of my favorite fragrances. Um, it smells like Delina. It's a very similar. It's not an exact dupe, but really, really close. And I thoroughly enjoy wearing this one. The longevity is amazing. Next is Encelance by Guerlain. Now this is in the older style bottle. Uh, this one is very powdery. Uh, people say it smells like candied violets. I've never smelled a candied violet, nor have I eaten one. Uh, it's, it's powdery, but there is kind of an interesting kind of springtime quality about this one. It's quite comforting. So can't wait to try it in the spring again. This one is a, a love, but I don't talk about it very often because you can't get it anywhere but in Brazil. And it is Gigi by Avatim. Now, maybe they'll change that at some point. This has pomegranate in it. It's very ambery, warm, quite solar. It's similar to Olympia Intense, 
but with a little bit of fruit in there and no salt, it's actually gorgeous. And then I have Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is uh, just a really, really beautiful kind of sweeter musk fragrance. It's actually gorgeous. Like I, I love smelling it. No sharpness in it. Just a beautiful kind of sweet feminine powdery musk. I have Jill Sanders Sun. Uh, this one, it, I actually really like it. So there's mixed reviews on Fragrantica. It just smells kind of solar, a little bit sunscreeny. Can't wait to wear this one in the summer. I have Coco Fig by Sud Pacific. This is a uh, fig and coconut. It's a bit musky and a little bit metallic. So I have mixed feelings about this one. Sud Pacific, all of their fragrances I find very synthetic. They don't tend to last really long on my skin. So this one's iffy. Light Blue, Love is Love. I love this fragrance. It's got a beautiful raspberry note. Like even just smelling it, I can't wait to wear this one in the summer. It's got that, that light blue DNA, but with raspberry and extra sweetness. I think there's some sort of sorbet in here. I love it. Terracotta by Guerlain. You know how much I love this one. It's bougie solar goodness. Huge, huge favorite. Nukes by Prodigio. This is the only travel spray I think I'm sharing with you, but... Uh, this one, it's actually really good. It's a little bit oily, again, kind of sunscreeny, kind of sexy. Really enjoy this one. Apple Juice by Zara. I've literally never worn this one. I'm going to have to give it a try in the summer. <laughs> I've got green tea pomegranate, green tea nectarine blossom, and green tea pear blossom. Pear blossom is my least favorite. It smells a little bit more floral to me. I would say the nectarine blossom is my favorite but I really love the pomegranate as well. This one smells kind of more raspberry. This one smells a little more peachy, but still with that green tea kind of uh, spa-like feel. So I love these two. White Tea by Elizabeth Arden. It's not my favorite. Smells like a spa, kind of relaxing, but I don't tend to reach for it very often. Hany Mori by Hany Mori. I actually really enjoy this one. This one is supposed to be kind of a dupe for Ylang and Gold. Uh, this came out before Ylang in Gold. Vanilla, sweet, uh, slightly airy, delicate fragrance. Really pretty. Great price too. Trois L'Imperatrice, uh, one of my favorite fragrances by Dolce & Gabbana. This is like a, a watermelon, just delectable kind of amazing fragrance. Great in the summer. There is so much dust flying here. I am now convinced that it's time to get containers with lids for my fragrances because too much dust on these ones that are being stored. This is Lemon Ginger by the Aqua Colonia line from 4711. I love this fragrance. It's just basically what it says. It's a zingy ginger lemon fragrance. It smells a little bit like Pledge, but I really love it. Uh, I don't wear this very often because it doesn't last in the summer, but if I want something really refreshing, it's just so energizing to put this one on. These, I guess, are more body sprays, but I thought I would men mention them because I really enjoy both of them. The first is Body Shop Coconut. This smells just like all the lotions and whatnot, just a delicious kind of sweet coconut. This is the Setsuma orange one. This one smells amazing. I, I I love them both. Two Zara fragrances. One is called Lily Pad. Uh, they have such interesting names. This is kind of a sweet summer gourmand somehow. It's actually really nice in this yellow sun. It's just a happy, cheery, uh, slightly juicy fragrance. It's actually gorgeous. So both of these beautiful. Chapter one, I believe it is by Jennifer Aniston. This is uh, very similar to Tom Ford's Eau de Soleil Blanc. Uh, really, really quite similar and very, very affordable. So this is this is beautiful for summer. I have Zen by Shiseido. Um, this one is one that I haven't uh, tried yet in the summer, but I really like it. People say it smells like Coco Mademoiselle. I don't think it smells like Coco Mademoiselle, uh, but it's very classy. There's a little bit of pineapple in there. Smells a little bit tea-like to me. I uh, can't wait to wear this in the summer. Tom Ford's Eau de Soleil Blanc. I can't get enough of this one, but like I said, chapter one, really, really similar for a fraction of the cost. Alien Eau Sublime. This is like a citrus solar alien. It's absolutely gorgeous. Commodity Nectar. This is basically straight up neroli and orange blossom so it's a little hard to take very heady can be headache inducing 
I kind of like it, kind of don't. It's got some citrus on the opening too. And Lust by Lush. This is straight up jasmine. Um, not really for me, but that said, every time I go to sniff it, I like it a little more. So you never know what'll happen with this one. We have Tresardi's Donna. This is lemon, floral, delicious goodness. Perfect for summer. Dolce Amalfi by Zerzhoff. This is a beautiful uh, summery gourmand, quite caramelly, but kind of light at the same time. Delicious. Amethyst by Lalique. This is a very refreshing, slightly watery, fruity fragrance, but not sweet. Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense, a beautiful coconut sandalwood fragrance, lovely. Flora Botanica, this is a beautiful green, watery, dewy rose. Angel by Mugler, this one is like a pina colada fragrance. Not long lasting, but absolutely gorgeous. La Nuit Trésor Nude. This is my favorite out of the line. It's a beautiful coconut vanilla with some rose in there. Absolutely delicious. Versace Crystal Noir. This one's uber sexy, slightly kind of bad girl vibes, peppery. Lots of people love it. I don't like it on the skin. On me, it smells too masculine. Marc Jacobs Decadence, horrible bottle, great smell. It's a green vanilla with some plum, very unique, but worth sniffing. La Petite Robe Noir Hippie Chic by, uh, by Guerlain. This is La Petite Robe Noir, but with some raspberry in there. It's really pretty for summer and spring. Olympia Aqua Legere. This is Olympia with heightened ginger, some sweeter orange peach, I think is in here as well. So this is kind of a fruity Olympia. I think it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous in the summer. La Vie Belle Le Clat. It's kind of a juicier orange blossom version of La Vie Belle. Elisab Le Parfum. This one is a very classy orange blossom honey cedar fragrance. Long lasting as well. Boucheron Quatre. This is a lovely kind of citrus watery rose, perfect again for spring and summer. Prada La Femme, again, a classy kind of bougie fragrance. It's got some ylang ylang, but the main note is tuberose with some spiciness in it. I love this one. Some people find it kind of meh. I think it's uber sexy, boss lady, bougie awesomeness. Olympia Intense, this is my sea goddess fragrance when I'm wanting to channel my inner Charlize Theron. This is the one I put on. <laughs> Charlize Theron is just plain beautiful. Okay, moving on. Classique Essence de Parfum. This is a fizzy ginger uh, effervescent fragrance to begin with. It dries down a little bit more orange blossomy with that ginger still present. Really beautiful fragrance. Next, I'm going to share some collections with you. So starting with Scandal by Night. This is a beautiful kind of pear cherry honey fragrance so 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 beautiful so kind of decadent and perfect for nighttime date nights yeah great scandal up hairy it's my favorite actually from the line it's pear and honey uh no cherry in this one but the the pear and the honey is amped up it's fresh but still kind of sticky sweet so Scandal, also gorgeous. This is more tuberose and raspberry. It's super flirty. It's the perfect Scandal for summer. La Petite Robe Noir Black Perfecto. This is La Petite Robe Noir with some leather thrown in. A little bit of a bad girl here. Beautiful. La Petite Robe Noir Intense. To me, this is the greatest departure. Smells like blueberry. It's so warm, sensual, it's delicious. La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is a liquored pear, leather, something, something amazingness. It just smells so uber delicious. One of my favorites. Girl of Now Shine by Ellie Saab. This is a warm almond pistachio fragrance with some warm kind of cooked pineapple. And this is Girl of Now, the original by Ellie Saab. This is just straight up warm, pistachio almond deliciousness. There's orange blossom in this one. Uh, very sweet and warm and very cozy. Sultan Noir by Pascal Morabito. This is an incense vanilla with some leather, really smoky, sexy, warm, sensual. The only one by Dolce & Gabbana. This one is kind of coffee, orange blossom, a little bit of fruitiness. It's warm, cozy. There's caramel in here as well. It's a very sensual, cozy, sexy fragrance. One of my favorites, 
Noir Pour Femme by Tom Ford. It, it, it's just decadence in a bottle. I wish they wouldn't have discontinued this one. La Nuit Trésor by Lancôme. This is an incense fruity gourmand. I think it's amazing. This is Twilight Shimmer by Michael Kors. It's my favorite out of the shimmers. This one smells kind of like a, a little bit of a woody plum fragrance, uber decadent, super great for date night. Uh, like it's very sexy. Sophia by Sophia Vergara. This is an affordable, classy, fruity fragrance. I just think it's so beautiful. Great fragrance for a great price. Fairly decent longevity too. Idole Nectar by Lancome. This is my favorite Idole and probably one of my favorite Lancome fragrances right now. Love the bottle, love the fragrance. It's rose, popcorn, caramel, vanilla. Can't beat it. Next fragrance is Camera by Latafa. This is kind of a sticky, sweet date fragrance. This is Azaro Wanted Girl. One of my favorite lately, it's kind of an orange blossom Dolce de Leche fragrance. I, I, I'm addicted to it. I find it really intoxicating. Sunshine by Amouage. This is in my top 10 for life. This is like a warm kind of almond osmanthus fragrance. It's really beautiful. It's quite complex. I love it. Jasmine Wisp by Rasasi. This is my loud, boisterous, crazy uh, passion fruit fragrance. It's very obnoxious and I'm in love with it. Lord of Misrule by Lush. This is kind of a sweet cardamom fragrance. I really like it. It leans masculine, but I still find it kind of cozy and a little bit mysterious. Elisab Le Parfum Royal. This is my favorite out of the Le Parfum line. It is orange and rose with some spices. It's absolutely gorgeous. L'Interdit by Givenchy. This is a pear tube rose fragrance. Very bubblegummy, sweet, but yet classy. Alien Essence Absolute. It's the most decadent, desirable, intoxicating, sexy alien that there is, but nobody can get their hands on it. But it's it's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. As well, I have original alien. What can you say? Like if you if you know, you know. A Angel Muse by Mugler. This one, such a beautiful kind of hazelnut, uh, hazelnut warm patchouli fragrance. Really love this one. Find it really cozy and grounding. Coco Mademoiselle, one of my favorites for life. Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. I'm in love with this vanilla. It's my favorite vanilla right now for sure. I've got a bunch of oaches for, uh, to share with you. I've got Night in Cans. It's Feb Delicious uh, dupe. I have Tribal Vow. I can't remember what this is a dupe for. It's one of my favorites. It's a very, uh, it's a beautiful rose kind of I don't know, fresh rose. It, it's gorgeous. I've got Moira that's uh, Herod dupe. It's really decent. I have Italian Cello by Lyra. I like Lyra better, but I really enjoy wearing this one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna finish this one for sure. And then Sweet Addict, it is the, it's the dupe for Love Don't Be Shy. And I think it's pretty close to spot on. Next is La Nuit Trésor a la Folie, uh, beautiful fruity vanilla. Intense Cafe by Montal. This is a rose, slightly coffee fragrance, a little bit tart, a little bit sweet. I don't reach for it very often, but I'm glad I have it. Yara by Latafa, the jury's still out on this one. La Vie Belle, it's a little bit obnoxious, not gonna lie, but the guys really love it and I kind of do too. <laughs> Serge Luton, Un Bois Vanille, this is kind of a waxy, Vanilla, there's a ton of notes in here, so it's a little bit more complex, but very, very sweet. Florence by Swiss Arabian. This one is very, very similar to Rose's Vanille. In fact, it's it's so close, it's crazy. Hot Couture EDP. This is kind of a smoky, mature raspberry. It's a bit of a femme fatale. Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue Royale. This is a gorgeous kind of slightly leathery but not too much uh, raspberry fragrance. It reminds me a bit of Noir Pour Femme but for a fraction of the cost. L'Extase by Nina Ricci, one of my favorite fragrances right now, kind of a sensual raspberry rose with caramel. Melig Perfumes Cherry Rose. The cherry note in this one reminds me of the ones in Le Petit Robe Noir fragrances. Uh, a little bit sweet, but this one uh, kind of morphs and you get more chocolate and patchouli in the dry down. Really interesting fragrance. It starts so light and bright and then slowly gets a little bit more sensual and sexy. Blackbird by Untamed Perfumes. It's a beautiful, spicy, sweet rose fragrance 
with sandalwood. It's in my top 10. L'Interdit Rouge. This is a L'Interdit with kind of a little bit of a root beer-esque vibe. Uber sexy, decadent, intoxicating, perfect for like a fancy occasion. Empress by Soki London. This is a green strawberry. There's popcorn in it. There's rose. It's very vivacious, uh, long lasting, and I really enjoy wearing this fragrance. My Greek Lover by Untamed Perfumes. This one is kind of an orange blossom fragrance, but uh, it has grape in it. There's a bunch of delicious kind of, I think there's lemon in this one as well. There's some cypress. It's complex and yet so, so beautiful. Perfect for summer. Uh, it's one of my favorite fragrances. Seriously, it's gorgeous. And Mavlana by Untamed Perfumes. This is a lot more complicated. Again, all of her fragrances have a bit of complexity to them. This has rose in it, but what makes this one really stand apart as something different is the mastic note in this. This has kind of a beautiful decadent quality, but definitely resinous, a little bit, not smoky, but kind of. Uh, paired with some interesting gourmand notes like coffee. I think there's powdered sugar in it. Very, very interesting, but definitely not for the faint of heart. Le Rive Fleur de Femme. I don't know if you can get this anymore, but it's a dupe for Poison Girl. I like it better. It's absolutely amazing. Dior Addict, another Femme Fatale fragrance. It's kind of a green, spicy vanilla. Cherry Delight by Be Layered. This is supposed to be a Tom Ford dupe, but it really isn't. It's just, it has the Tom Ford cherry note in it. So the cherry, very, very similar. So this one's great to layer with anything. It's amazing. And then this is a travel spray that I want to share with you guys because I've had this question asked. This is a black phantom dupe by Perfume Parlor called Noir Illusion 1746. Um, I think it's really, really close. It gives you that same vibe for sure, uh, but literally for a fraction of the cost. Mon Guerlain by Guerlain, one of my favorites. Euphoria by Kelvin Klein. I haven't tried this one. Uh, I think I tried it once maybe. Uh, jury's still out. Valentino Donna Born in Roma. People are enamored by this. I don't get it. <laughs> Not for me. Rare Tiffany by Afnan. To me, this has a lot of yellow florals in it, but with some sweet kind of caramelly notes. I am excited about this one for spring. Wonderland Peony by Floral Street, one of my favorite from the line. It's a joy to wear. The star of the show is definitely the raspberry. Santal Royale by Guerlain. This one is so beautiful, but since I got Blackbird, which is kind of similar, I gravitate towards Blackbird. This is a beautiful rose sandalwood with some spices and sweetness. Mansara Velvet Vanilla. This is bubblegum tuberose that dries down to kind of a vanilla buttercream icing on my skin. Casimir by Chopard. It's kind of similar again to the Ylangin Gold or the Hane Mori. Vanilla, apricot, warm sweetness. There's coconut in this one. It's really quite beautiful, but not very long lasting. Angelic Elixir by Dua. This one's actually really decent. I'm just not really a fan of Angel Share. So I like pairing this with other things, but wearing it on its own, it doesn't really thrill me. Milano by Fragrance Dubois. This is absolutely beautiful. There's a slight kind of leather in it with some fruitiness and florals. It's very, very understatedly elegant. I have four Kais fragrances for you. Zucchero Filato. This is a delicious cotton candy. Coco alla Vanilla. This is straight up uh, coconut flesh. It's a little bit too coconutty for me. There's no cream in here or sweetness. It's just like raw coconut. We plus, it's like a s'more. It's delicious. And my favorite from the line currently is Pesho Yuzu. This is a delicious decadent peach fragrance that kind of turns a little bit baking-esque in the dry down. Next is Rich Warm Addictive by Zara. It's an intoxicating kind of honeyed rum fragrance. Love it. Al Haramain's Amber Oud Gold Edition. Pineapple Melon Sweetness. By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela. This is uh, Burning Wood and Chestnut. Cloud by Ariana Grande. Love by Sofia Vergara. This is Passion Fruit and Coffee. I think there's caramel in here too. It's kind of a fruity version of something that would be similar to a black opium. Floral Streets Ylang Ylang Espresso. Night of Bad Decisions. Not for the faint of heart. Hugo Boss, The Scent Private Accord. This is like a by Terry's Chocolate Orange. Sweet by Lolita Lempica. This is a synthetic cherry. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure because it's 
not great, but I happen to love it. Pure Musk for Her by Narcissa Rodriguez. This is a very clean, kind of almost a bit of a prickly musk with some floral. Shag Hoff Oud by Swiss Arabian. This is a rose oud, sweet, decadent fragrance. Angel Nova by Mugler. This is a very tart, bright, strong raspberry with woody dry down. Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. This is a tropical vacation on some sort of alien island paradise. It's amazing. Flower Bomb Midnight by Victor and Rolf. This is like a fruity version of Flower Bomb. It's one of my favorites. This one and Nectar, I love them both. Modest De by Afnan. This is similar to La Nuit Trésor by Lancôme, but a fraction of the price, and it, I actually enjoy it that more. Bade Al Oud Amethyst by Latafa. This is kind of a uh, fresh rose to begin with gets a little bit jammy and then somehow gets a little bit metallic to me. It's gorgeous and even though it's a pretty heavy fragrance, definitely something that could transition you into spring. We're down to the last leg. First, uh, Elizabeth Arden Always Red Femme. It's similar to C by Armani, but not as expensive, but also not as long lasting. Ornament by Afnan. This is similar to Olympia Intense. Shergi by Serge Luton. This is a uh, kind of a smoky, sweet hay fragrance. Jardin de Misfa by Unui Nomad. This is similar to Roses Vini, but a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit lighter uh, when on the skin. Coco Vini by Mansara. Just smelling it makes me happy. I can't wait to wear this for spring and summer. Navitus by Absolutio, one of my favorite fragrances. Smells a little bit like Baccarat. Some people find it a lot more masculine. Uh, it gives me Baccarat vibes, but with chocolate and spices, and I love it. I'm not gonna even take these ones out of the boxes yet because I am bringing them over to a friend's house for her to sniff them. So uh, I'm just gonna show you the packaging because I've recently shown them to you anyway. Uh, Instant Crush by Mansara. Not sure I'm gonna keep this one. Smells kinda a little bit like Baccarat Rouge. I know some people don't think it does. I get the vibe, but then it's a lot more woody and it's quite synthetic and I'm not sure I like it. Biblos by Biblos. It smells kind of like a fairy fragrance, very violety. Coffee and Whiskey by Dua. This one, I definitely get the coffee and the whiskey, but it's so potent that I haven't yet put it on my skin. So we'll see. Desire 2 by Dua. This is a dupe for Cruz del Sur, I believe by Zerjoff or Z Cruz del Sur 2. It's a very green mango, but kind of dries down a little bit more mango milkshake. Uh, so can't wait to try this more. Bond number no. nine's New York Night. It smells like banana nut bread. Yum! Lyra by Zerjoff. It smells like a smoky lemon pound cake. Commodity Velvet Personal. This smells like you're in a library with a wood burning fire. You're smelling a rose and reading a book. My new obsession, and I saved right now the, the best for last, and it is Soradora's Brosseliande. This is my new obsession. I am in love with this thing. I'm so thankful that I have this because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of Similar to Lyra, but I think actually better. It smells a little bit like a key lime pie with a little something something. I don't know. It's just delicious. And that is it. That is my whole collection. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And that took quite a while. So I'm going to go wipe the dust off of me because I've got to get... I've got to get better containers for my stuff because there's dust flying everywhere. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed doing this. I hope that you enjoyed watching, getting to see everything in my collection. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.